Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Today I, I'm going to teach you about sending audio using the live track L12, which you can see in the screen as an audio interface for your Zoom meeting. So I have this um, interesting question uh, asked by uh, one of the viewers. So he's asking if we can mix the audio using the live track L12 and all the effects that we have applied, for example, in my vocals, can be can be heard through Zoom. So the, all the mix, the equalizer effects, and the other effects that are here in this mixer, can it be heard in Zoom? So, um, because if you would look at the setup that uh, I have for this mixer, you have 12 line ins, and it will be an analog input going in and then sent through a master output but because the master output would usually go to the speaker so we need to find out if this master output can be converted through a digital output and using a USB cable go to your zoom so that the mix audio from your live track L12 is heard through Zoom. That's why it will it will make uh, the sound of your voice nicer. Okay, so we will do that and try. And uh, let's see first. I have my friend here named as Tutorial, and he will be recording the uh, Zoom session with us. So I need to make him as a host. Okay, and then. The recorded video like later I will let you hear and see if this sound uh, the voice audio that I'm generating from my live track L12 can be heard at the other end of this zoom meeting so if you would look at my live track L12 I all of the um, effects I have set to zero I don't have any effects yet before we start the recording so now I will tell my friend to do the recording for us. Just give me a second. So now you can see that we are being recorded. So now this is my raw voice. I don't have any effects on my voice. And let's see if I adjust. And then there will be some effects applied to my voice and there will be changes in the recorded Zoom uh, session. So first, I would try to increase the highs, mids, uh, increase the lows also, and then increase the frequency. So let me do that. Mic test, mic test. So you can see it's a bit changing. I would increase the frequency, mic test, mic test, mic test. Too much noise, so I reduce it. Then the lows, I try to increase also. Mic test, mic test. And then I would try to put some um, feedback so that it will have a reverb sound. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. So you don't hear it yet, but if I increase the slider, then you will hear the change mic test mic test mic test mic test mic test we try to increase this more mic test 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 Mic test, 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 mic, mic test, mic test now you can hear the effects i forgot to increase this one the sand feedback sand effects that's why you cannot hear it initially so now you have more reverb 
so I try to reduce it and for the purpose of the demonstration if it works or not we just try to increase again mic test mic test mic test mic test mic test too much reverb okay so I think that's enough for the recording and then let's try to hear how it would sound like Recording in progress. So now you can see that we are being recorded. So now this is my raw voice. I don't have any effects on my voice. And let's see if I adjust and then there will be some effects applied to my voice and there will be changes in the recorded zoom uh, session so first I would try to increase the highs mids uh, increase the lows also and then increase the frequency so let me do that mic test mic test so you can see it's a bit changing I would increase the frequency, mic test, mic test, mic test. Too much noise, so I reduce it. Then the lows, I try to increase also, mic test, mic test. And then I would try to put some um, feedback so that it will have a reverb sound. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. So you don't hear it yet, but if I increase the slider, then you will hear the change. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. We try to increase this more. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. Mic test. Mic test, 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 mic, mic test. Mic test. Now you can hear the effects. I forgot to increase this one, the sand feedback, sand effects. That's why you cannot hear it initially. So now you have more reverb. So I try to reduce it. And for the purpose of the demonstration, if it works or not, we just try to increase again. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. Too much reverb. Okay. So I think that's enough for the recording and then let's try to hear how it would sound like. So okay friends, so I think you heard that and it's pretty conclusive that um, if you use the LiveTrack L12 as your audio interface, you are able to mix the audio and the mixed audio from this mixer will be converted because it's connected to USB. It will be converted as a digital audio and then it will be sent to Zoom. And then you can hear the effects in Zoom. And your voice will be um, better. It will sound nicer. And this one is applicable also if you are using it for Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch or whatever platform that you want to use your mixer for. So again, uh, I hope that you learned something today. Thank you again for that person who uh, gave this question to me. Yeah, it's something interest interesting. I, I myself got curious about it. And uh, yeah, so now we have proven that it works. So again, thank you so much. Have a good day and bye.